in the band weight division at UFC Fight Night. You got Pedro Munoz taking on Chris Gutierrez. Now, Pedro Munoz, 19 and 7. Gutierrez, 19 and 3. So, both guys with 19 wins. But Munoz with a few more losses because he's got some top notch competition. Now, when you get into the numbers, Gutierrez is going to have a three inch height advantage. He's also five years younger than Munoz. He's got a two inch reach advantage. Both guys stand right handed. Now, Munoz is more active, landing about 5.4 significant strikes per minute to 4.7 for Gutierrez. Uh, when you get into takedown average, both guys less than one over the course of three rounds. So this is going to be a striker's delight. The young punisher, a.k.a. Pedro Munoz, 81% takedown defense. That even limits uh, the chances of his opponent getting a takedown. Now, he's coming off a no contest uh, with Sean O'Malley back in July of 2022. Before that, he lost to Dominic Cruz by decision. Jose Aldo by decision. He beat Jimmy Rivera and lost to Frankie Edgar by decision. So a lot of these losses uh, that you see on his record, seven of them, a lot of them have come recently because at the beginning he was rolling. Now when you look at uh, Chris Gutierrez, 73% takedown defense. And you know both of these guys, really strong takedown defense, aren't big takedown artists, so... Expect these guys to stand and strike. Now, on the other end, Gutierrez beat Frankie Edgar by first-round KO. He beat Bat Gerald Dana by KO. Felipe Calaris split decision, which was crazy because he outstruck him by, like, 55 significant strikes, and he still had one judge go against him. So, But all in all, he's on a four-fight win streak, and the momentum uh, continues to build. Uh, and I think it's pretty clear here, at least in my opinion, that Chris Gutierrez is going to go in there and take care of business against Pedro Munoz. But Pedro Munoz's back is against the wall. That always makes a fighter uh, in, a, in a precarious situation. They tend to fight better than you think they will in those situations because, you know, how many times can you lose in a row or you got six losses in your last seven fights? You know, eventually the UFC is going to be like, that's it, man. So... Munoz's back is against the wall. You're going to get his best fight, but I still think Chris Gutierrez wins this fight. But keep an eye on that activity because Munoz is more active than Gutierrez, and there's no threat of takedowns in this fight. So Munoz could come in here and surprise us, but I'm going with the momentum and the record as well in Chris Gutierrez to win this thing and move to 20-3 and three here in a tough bantamweight division fight at UFC. Fight night.